Okay, I got a little bit of time having breakfast and getting ready for work. And a thought process on EKC people suck and people like her. Everything she does relates to something she finds on the internet. Everything we see her do on the internet relates to something she finds on the internet. And even when she talked about stories about her life uh, earlier years as well as present day there's always some contradiction and so that makes it sound like bullshit and if you read the body language yeah there's some lack of genuineness that conveys there so it seems like she's just making stuff up grains of truth in it probably it's hard to discern on the first get-go, which bits are true and which bits are just the classic mental gymnastics. So when I say everything we see her do is related to anything she finds on the internet, her tiny brain can probably come in response to that. Well, of course, and doing internet things, it's on the internet, and duh, you know? The majority of people I interact with have things that they are interested in that they interact with outside of the internet and they can bring their results and information they learn about it to the internet. All right? There's always that. Majority of th these people. <laughs> and while she has no outside of the internet life, because nobody wants to have anything to do with her. I've shared on the Discord a picture of a bar I was in. I've sh shared before a picture of out the back of that bar. Classically, it would be called a beer garden, where there's seats out in a garden area kind of thing where you, you get your fresh air and you know, out sits, seats to sit out in, in the, when the weather's nice beautiful view there's a castle overlooking the bar is our public bar there great staff and all this and I've talked about this a number of times showing you the actual pictures what Erin shows you of pictures with her daughter and her son is advertises their daughter and son don't really want that much to do with her and those are the pictures that she shares by the way she doesn't have any better than that all right and on top of that additionally she does this what she th would like to call like a parody jokey thing about her daughter and one about her son where she pretends to be her son face filter and all this and portraying a conversation they had guaranteed they never had that conversation there's real pictures on there was on her facebook with her daughter giving her the bird as if to say Fuck off with the photos. There's another picture of a son at a public bar where you normally socialize, especially if you're there like mother son. At a public bar, you'd think there'd be something going on, but no. Son's leaning on the bar. It looks like a bar. I don't, it might be some takeaway place or whatever, regardless of where. He's looking at his mobile phone, leaning forward, eyes from head front. Not interested in what Aaron's doing. Doing a selfie. Look, I'm with my son. Twice. And he's still not interested. And he, the, the whole body language take is like, fuck off, man. I'm ignoring you. By her own admission, she posts out things that read like what the words were. Uh, there was a photo of her son with her son actually facing the camera. The, the but you think oh maybe they are getting along is the exception and then she posts I have to get him drunk to agree to a photo of me 
Imagine being a mother and you have to get your son drunk in order to agree to a photo with you. Obviously, they can't stand you, really, but they just put up with you because maybe you're useful to have around sometimes or something. Perhaps. Maybe not. Or they just put up with you because it's a better thing to do because you're the mother. You're their mother and there's some history there that maybe one day it was going well, but Erin lost the plot. Right, so things outside of the internet that she does share, like that, are also fabricated and made up in a way that she wants you to believe that she's, everything's fine. She makes that up on the internet. What would Aaron, Aaron would have nightmares if you took away the internet. Number one, step one, court of law says, not allowed internet access because you're harass harassing people. Particularly, Charla comes to mind, and you wonder who else she's harassed. You know, again, her head into the anti vax community, and some people whose sons died, and she latches on. There's a type of person that latches on and does not stop, where it's moral to stop or not. And I think it's possible she's the type that has, I mean, this isn't confirmed, just personal opinion, and may have, um, I think there's certain words for it, that I need to read up on more psychology. They get infatuated by their own target. The only targets women, and again, there's plenty of evidence. Tell us you're bisexual without telling us you're bisexual. And I put and put out a comment in a chat. Or it was underneath a video. Maybe both, I don't know. Come out of the closet, Erin. And she didn't respond in a way to that that um didn't you know she responded in a way to that that confirmed that she hates being bisexual and all these mental gymnastics. She know, just knows how to handle it. And if you look at her blog, good luck trying to make sense of it because the layout is terrible. The formatting of the text is terrible. But the, if you read some of it, a certain article, I can't remember the title on the article, there's plenty there that is relating to She's saying she's bi, living a straight life. No, if you're bi, you live a bi bisexual life. Living a bisexual life does not mean necessarily that you're dating or getting intimate with male and female partners. What it means is you experience feeling that kind of attraction to both sexes because you're bisexual. If she was in such... Weird convoluted, if you're bi with an opposite sex, you're not living a straight person's life, you're bi. Uh, if you're straight, living, like dating male or female, well, you're not straight, you're bi. You know, but she tries to hide all this. I wonder why, is it because she, uh, she's an advocate of idiots like Steve McRae, who's very anti-LGBTQ? Right, and it was very anti bi, anti trans, anti this, anti everything. <laughs> very, uh, it, it was bizarre, but again, all this is made up over the internet. Hiding who she really is. Here we go. Step one, I, go, I was going to go step one, two, three. So I kind of went off on the tangent a little bit. Step one, court of law takes the internet away from her. Step two, take away, you can't buy any hair extensions now because maybe, she, or maybe she can, she'd go up the street and go to a shop somewhere. But if you imagine, hypothetically, fictional scenario, internet taken away, 
ability to get hair extensions taken away or hair extensions taken off her. The excessive thick layers of lipstick, that looks gross by the way, in some of the videos, taken away. Go and wear some regular clothing that she hasn't worn for years probably. Just, you know, you're not like dressed like you're going to a function or whatever sometimes. You're just doing a video, but you know, just average household clothes. Wear those and take the other clothes away from her. What else was it? So, internet away, hair extension away, makeup products away, uh, excessive hair products away, wigs away. You wore a wig because she just showered. And her hair was wet, so she wore a wig on a live stream once. Bizarre. All that taken away is variables of her fakery, because you know she finds shit on the internet, and makes up some mental gymnastics, all fictional crap. Internet away. <laughs> hair extensions away. Uh, makeup away. Fancy clothing away. And then just sit her in a chair in front of the mirror. Ta-da! This is you, Aaron. Deal with it. That's raw and frightening to Aaron. It's scary. So he has to, has to use the internet as a tool to make up some kind of image that she wants you to believe. He falls apart in court in so-called real life but you know the internet is an extension of real life these are real people i'm a real person you can meet me in person um oh yeah that's it the face filters take those away yeah because they'll be taken away anyway for anybody to see at least because the internet's taken away so fake face filter away, internet away, hair extensions away. Um, yeah, just normal clothes, excessive makeup away, gone. All these fluffy nonsense that she wears, really fluffy framed glasses that they're not to wear on your head. You just she wears them on their head. That's just weird fake. Pathetic nonsense that's not practical. Might look, it doesn't even look pretty, it just looks stupid and pathetic and weird, in my personal opinion. And I think many people are thinking the same how that looks. Go to the optician and get some real glasses. Maybe it's too expensive. If opticians do exist in America, I don't know, you just buy glasses or, or what? I don't know. America's a clusterfuck of epic proportions. And I'll put another thing out about America. It's never had a true democracy. It's supposed to be a republic anyway. It's never had a true democracy, ever. Really, it hasn't. Well, there may be some exceptions somewhere you further you go back in time. But modern day, ah, oh, not a democracy. I don't call... Going to restaurants and being obligated to tip your waitress a democracy because you're obligated to because you've got to rain off the wage of that person, person's wage, because the employee uses that as an excuse not to not play, not play, not pay them enough for the work they're doing. There's a whole different mindset. On t t that's, t that's not what tipping is for across the rest of the world. Tipping is, oh, you're pleased with the service. And you might tip. Even if you're pleased with the service, some people don't tip. If they can't afford to, they're going to spare some just to say thank you for the service. Not, oh, I need a tip because I'm obligated to. And they get moaned at because they don't. It's disgusting. It's vile and awful. That's not a democracy. 
is any excuse to run a slave camp, an open prison, and he is America. But yeah, think about it, how fake she is. Fake through and through. Number one, no internet. Number two, uh, no makeup products. Number three, no face filter. Number four, uh, just regular clothes. No puffy fake stuff. You know, no face filter and none of none of the fake none of the fake stuff that she uses because all of that she buries her head into that and think, oh, this is me. None of it is actually real. It's just mold cons and modifications you're using to pretend you are that person. And then just go and sit her in front of the mirror and look at who she really is. A miserable bitch who can't get on with her son and daughter pretends to put things, stories on the internet that she's... Uh, does a full-time job and has to look after her kids and all this doesn't they can't stand her anyway yeah right you don't see anybody around I think there was a video I did you might have heard somebody I was talking to and all that you, you don't really hear that on Aaron's videos Right? She's so obsessed with trying to fake it till she makes it that she gets really, really buttered if somebody points out, oh, so your desk is messy, there's makeup products everywhere, there's stuff and all that. Cheshire the Vic psychoanalyzed her room she was streaming from one day. I mentioned that. Because all that relates to her drive to run, trying to run away from herself, ironically, in order to produce this fake image. That's why she took it personally. And the only reason why she took it personally. Why do I think she took it personally? Because right from that point of Chesh pointing that out, you suddenly stream from other rooms, and the only time you do see her streaming from that room is when the room, room is spotless, it's tidy, all the makeup products put away and everything else. Why do you think her thumbnail of one of her videos, trying to call Cheshire out right, and calling Cheshire her real name, intermittently between Cheshire's aliases she uses on Vine, like Cheshire, Chesh, Cheshire Vic, Goblin Chesh, right? In mixed in, oh, you use Chesh's real name, and this is just everybody knows the real name anyway. So, you know, I'm trying to target Chesh and moaning about her while using the thumbnail of that. Try to, I think, portray Cheshire in an untidy room. She's projecting. And it's all a narcissist does because there's no insight. Oh, oh, maybe I'm projecting this or that because it's what I would do. That's insight. Hindsight, she can't even do. She did a previous video. What was it titled? Um... Posted about that recently. And this is the only reason why I point. This is nothing to do with Aaron necessarily. It's people like this. This is the reason why I point out this dysfunction. It's a warning sign. Look out for it because people like this are dangerous in terms of harassing other people. They themselves, if they disappeared today, there's some weird, stupid thing that he did or whatever, or somehow, you know, nobody would give a shit. Anyone with an IQ above dirt, nobody uh, would give a damn if uh, Aaron just disappeared off the internet. The internet would be a better, a, a tiny micron of a better place. Could I say tiny micron? Why? Because there's plenty of other idiots on the internet.
doing far even far worse things as well but the victims of Aaron probably don't think see it that way it's bad enough for them because they are the victims so you got to think about them you got to think about individuals like Charlo um so yeah I posted recently nearly spat my coffee everywhere as YouTube suggestions showing a Aaron video three hours ago titled wait for it prepare yourself titled Looking back with hindsight, hindsight for the smart might be like 2020 vision. But insight is always infinitely revealing. Insight, look within yourself, look at yourself, go look in the mirror with all the fakery. Um, yeah. So infinitely revealing. Most who never do well with hindsight sure ain't going to do any good with insight people like this don't do hindsight they do cherry picking and history revision do something that they want to claim happened when it's not what happened mental gymnastics oh i didn't lie i was joking oh i was exaggerating i didn't mean that blah 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 whatever kind of and in order to try and look like not the bag of shit without the fakery that is even more exposed to the individual because all the fakery is attached to a fantasy or an image and personality that doesn't even exist. It only exists in that person's mind. How it's being played out is not the same as they imagine it being played out. That's even worse. Trying to fake it, be a certain thing. Everybody else sees you in the light you know, that... You don't see yourself in while you're fake there. And they won't because because it's fake. You'll see things that feel disjointed and contradict. And not genuine with your body language as well. Um is why it why it just doesn't work. If you put crap into something, you're gonna get crap out. Fake in, fake out. Thanks for watching. Take care. I thought that was a funny thought actually kind of comical it's like take all that uh tools of fakery away and just sit her in front of the fucking mirror and be like here we go Aaron <laughs> get a pin to the chair this is you what are you gonna do about it thank you for watching bye bye time to get ready for work it's a good start to the day Bye.